Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics and my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral, integral from 0 to infinity, dx over e to the x plus e to the minus x raised to the 20, 23 power. Well, uh, let us take i uh, is equal to integral from 0 to infinity dx over e to the x plus e to the minus x and instead of 2023 uh, let's take n okay uh, now uh, let's solve this integral then uh, instead of doing, uh, if you want you can uh, plug in 2023 so let's take a substitution so first i'm going to take e to the x is equal to t then if you differentiate e to the x dx is equal to uh, dt then uh, we can plug in so here integral from now we should change the boundaries uh, when x approaches to 0 we know t approaches to 1 x approaches to infinity also t approaches to infinity uh, then here 1 over e to the x we know t plus e to the minus x we know 1 over t raised to the n power and dx uh, here we know dx is equal to dt over e to the x e to the x we know t so we have dt over t okay and now uh, we can uh, simplify a little bit so here 1 to uh, infinity now uh, here if we take common denominator uh, we know uh, t square plus 1 t square plus 1 uh, raised to the n uh, over t to the n we can write in the uh, numerator so we have t to the n but here also we have t so t to the n minus 1 d t okay now uh, to solve this integral uh, let us take another substitution t is equal to uh, tan of theta then uh, let's differentiate dt is equal to secant square of theta t theta uh, now when we change this when we take this substitution we know we should change the uh, boundary again so lower limit when x uh, sorry t approaches to 1 uh, tan of uh, we know pi over 4 then uh, upper limit infinity we know tan of pi over 2 so pi over 4 to pi over 2 uh, then t we know tan of theta so tan of theta raised to the n minus 1 power then uh, here t square plus 1 we know uh, 1 plus tan square of theta is equal to secant square of theta uh, so we have secant uh, yeah secant raised to the 2n of theta uh, then here uh, dt we know again uh, secant square of theta d theta okay let us uh, simplify now here pi over 4 to pi over 2 now we know uh, tan to the uh, n minus 1 of theta uh, we can write as a uh, sine and uh, cos cosine so sine of n minus 1 of theta uh, then uh, here secant square of theta we can write 1 over uh, cosine square of theta and uh, this secant raised to the 2n of theta we can write cosine to the 2n of theta and tan of theta we know sine over cosine so here uh, we can write 1 over cosine raised to the n minus 1 of theta d theta so if we uh, simplify we know uh, we have pi over 4 to pi over 2 uh, now we know 2n uh, minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled so we have sine of n minus 1 of theta cosine to the n minus 1 of theta d theta okay uh, now what can we do uh, because the limit uh, if the limit is uh, going to 0 to pi over 2 uh, definitely uh, we know we can use the beta function 
but now here we have limit 5 over 4 to 5 over 2 so okay let's uh, break the limit uh, here first i'm going to take uh, integral from 0 to uh, pi over 2 sine of n minus 1 of theta cosine of n minus cosine to the n minus 1 of uh, theta d theta minus then uh, now we know uh, here 0 here pi over 4 here pi over 2 so uh, our boundary pi over 4 to pi over 2 now we uh, took 0 to pi over 2 so uh, let's subtract uh, this part so 0 to uh, pi over 4 so 0 to pi over 4 sine to the n minus 1 of theta cosine to the n minus 1 of theta d theta well now we know this is i and uh, now i am going to take this integral i1 and this integral uh, i2 so we know i is equal to i1 minus i2 now uh, i1 we know we can uh, evaluate easily because we know about uh, beta function we know beta of a b is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the 2a minus 1 of uh, theta times cosine raised to the 2b minus 1 of theta d theta so here we have n minus 1 here 2a minus 1 so we know uh, n minus 1 is equal to 2a minus 1 minus 1 get cancelled and uh, we know a is equal to n over 2 same as uh, b also we know equal to n over 2 so we can write i1 is equal to uh, here 2 so 1 half uh, beta of beta of n over 2 comma n over 2 then we know uh, the relation between beta function and gamma function beta of a b is equal to gamma of a gamma of b over gamma of a plus b so here we can write uh, i1 is equal to one half gamma of n over 2 gamma of n over 2 over gamma of n over 2 plus n over 2 we know n so we have uh, one half times gamma square of n over 2 over gamma of n so this is the uh, answer of i1 so now uh, let's evaluate i2 so i2 is equal to uh, we know 0 to pi over 4 sine raised to the n minus 1 of theta cosine to the n minus 1 of theta d theta okay uh, then as a next step i'm going to divide this integral by uh, 1 over 2 raised to the n minus 1 then integral from 0 to pi over 4 also i'm going to multiply by 2 to the n minus 1 uh, then sine raised to the n minus 1 of theta cosine to the n minus 1 of theta d theta so we know now 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 uh, here 0 to uh, pi over 4 now we know here 2 times sine of theta cosine of theta uh, we know uh, is uh, sine of uh, 2 times theta raised to the n minus 1 power so here d theta okay uh, then what's the next step well now uh, i want to uh, change the uh, boundary 0 to pi over 2 because again i can use a uh, beta function therefore i am going to take a substitution 2 times theta is equal to u so 2 times d theta is equal to uh, d u uh, so let us plug in here 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 
integral from now 0 to uh, you know upper limit uh, when theta approaches to pi over 4 we know u approaches to pi over 2 now here uh, sine raised to the n minus 1 2 times theta we know u and d theta we know du over 2 so here 1 over 2 okay uh, now we know we can simplify this so we have 1 over uh, 2 to the n now 0 to uh, pi over 2 here we have sine raised to the n minus 1 of u uh, cosine raised to the 0 power of u here du now again uh, we can use the beta function here uh, we have the uh, equation so uh, we know this is equal to now 1 over uh, 2 to the n 1 half times beta of n over 2 comma 1 half now again we know the relation between beta function and gamma function so we have 1 over uh, 2 times 1 over 2 to the n gamma of n over 2 gamma of 1 half over gamma of n plus 1 over 2 okay uh, then gamma of 1 half we know the square root of pi so we have 1 half times the square root of pi over 2 to the n uh, gamma of n over 2 over gamma of n plus 1 over 2 we know this is uh, i2 now uh, we know i our integral is equal to i1 minus i2 so i1 is equal to here we have i1 uh, 1 half uh, so then uh, again i2 here we have 1 half so we know uh, 1 half uh, is a common factor uh, so 1 half times uh, we have gamma square of n over 2 over gamma of n uh, minus the square root of pi over 2 to the n times gamma of n over 2 over gamma of n plus 1 over 2 okay this is the answer for our integral if you like uh, this type of videos, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.